Hey, it's Scott again. And this time I want to show you how to set up and use your LX mobile app. When you purchase an LX mobile license, you'll receive an email from our team that'll give you a password. And that password is what you'll use to enable that process in your database. So if you go to company, settings, LX mobile settings, you'll enable it with the checkbox here. Enter the password we gave you. Confirm the password by entering it again. And here, enter the email address that you want the mobile receipts to come from. And if you want in-shop orders as well as mobile ones to go to the LX mobile app, check this box here. Then click Save. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your Com app is configured for the live LX mobile environment and not the staging LX mobile environment. So the Com app is a communication applet. It runs as a service on your server. So if you go to Tools, Start Com App Admin Tool. If you don't see this option, you're not on your server. Go ahead and log into Glasspack LX on your server so you see it. And you'll open it this way. Click the Settings button. Click the LX Mobile tab. And in this URL, if you see an S right there in front of LX Mobile, you want to remove that. The S stands for Staging. Once you remove that, you'll then be pointed to the live LX Mobile environment. Click OK, and then get out of here before you mess something up. And now what you want to do is restart the Com App service. So I'm clicking my Start button. I'm going to type Services. You may have to type services.msc, depending on your Windows platform. And if you just click in here and select Type GTS, and restart. That will restart your Com app. You can stop and restart it from that admin tool, but sometimes that doesn't work. It's sometimes easier just to go to the services. Now I recommend that you close Glass Pack and reopen it. All right, now what you want to do is go to Company, LX Mobile Accounts, which is an option you'll see now that you've enabled LX Mobile. What you'll see at the top of this window, or what you should see, is current account usage. You should see zero active, followed by a different number maximum, depending on however many licenses you've ordered. If it says zero maximum, you may want to review the configuration steps we just went through, or try relaunching Glasspack LX again. If you get stuck here, contact our support team, and we can help you troubleshoot what's going on. Okay, in the first line, you want to select the primary branch that this license will be associated with. Then you're going to enter the phone number of the device. Then you're going to make up a username that the mobile app user is going to log in with. You're also going to make up a password for that same login. Then you're going to select from within your Glassback LX database which installer is going to be associated with this license. And then in the mobile phone email field, find out what the SMS email extension is for your provider and put that here. For example, Verizon is vtex.com. AT&T, it'll be txt.att.net, something like that. And then check the active checkbox. And then do the same for any other licenses you have. Then you can save and close. Your database is now ready to interact with the LX Mobile server. At this point, if you haven't already, you should download and install the app onto your device. Look for Glasspack LX in the App Store. If you don't know how to do that, just ask a fourth grader that you know. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I have an order here. The LX Mobile app will require certain fields to be filled in before it will allow this order to be sent to the device. Those fields are, you need a customer name, you need an install address, including the zip code. You need at least one of these vehicle fields filled in, year, maker, model, but these will usually all be filled in because you've built this order with the NAGS catalog, probably. You need a part on the order. And for those of you familiar with the inventory sourcing feature in Glasspack LX, you'll recognize the sourcing status of in transit. I have an outstanding purchase order linked to this work order. I'll show you how the installer can receive the purchase order through the mobile app. You don't have to use the sourcing. I just wanted to show it. Over on the General tab, the install date needs to be filled in. And the mobile app will only show today's jobs. 
So since I want this order to show on the app today, I need it scheduled for today. It needs to be assigned to an installer that's using the LX Mobile license. And I have this one marked as a mobile install, although in my settings, if you remember at the very beginning where we set the password, I did say to include in-shop jobs as well. So either way, this job would have gone to my device. All right, that covers the minimum requirements to get this job sent to the app. I also included a, a note to my installer. So let's save this and then take a look at this job on the app so you can see what the installer sees. Okay, before we log into the mobile app on this device, look at this. Your installers will get alerts whenever an order on their schedule is updated or whenever a new order is added. Okay, now let's go log in. Now remember, this is that password, that login and password that you set up with this device. And there is our order. I only have one here, but obviously if you have more than one, they'll stack right here. Now since I have the sourcing feature turned on in this particular scenario, I'm going to go to Parts Pickup so you can see what that looks like. I'll pick the vendor and the parts will show here. Trademark, quick pickup. Last shipper, use the same shipper. I'm going to say yes, I'm going to use the same shipper here. Pick that up. So my parts are now sourced. If I go back to my orders, I'm going to go into this order. Notice that the installer instructions are right here at the beginning along with the customer name and the work order number. The next tab, the one with the car, is where I will enter the preliminary information like the VIN number. You can also scan the VIN if you install this barcode scanner. Odometer, license, and here you'll punch in to start the time. The next tab is where you'll see the parts listed, and the red text indicates a field is required. The windshield needs a DOT, and the adhesive is needing the lot and primer numbers. and the code. Okay. In the next tab is where I can enter notes. And this camera tab is where you can add a photo using the device's camera or you can add a sketch if you feel you need to. Now if I go back to this tab here, I can punch out of the order. Is the order finished? Yes, it is. Yes, those parts and prices are correct. I'm going to say it's a cash order. Though it's worth mentioning that if you sign up with OpenEdge, which is also known as XCharge, we know it as XCharge, you can integrate your service with Glasspack LX and the mobile app, which will allow you to scan credit cards through the app. Continue. Capture the customer's signature here. The payment receipt can be printed with a paired Bluetooth printer, or you can email it directly to a given email address. Done. And it's gone. So now what we'll do is we'll log back into Glasspack LX and take a look at this order and what it looks like when it's been completed using the LX mobile app. Now let's take a look at this completed order. Our note came back. The parts are sourced. If you go to the customer tab, all this preliminary information came back. And on the general tab, we have our start and end times. And the job is marked complete. And up here, you can view the payment receipt, which will have the signature. And now you can invoice this and be done. And there you go. That is a full run through of what you can expect from LX Mobile. I hope this was helpful.